when you're trying to find the function that defines a sequence, first you want to figure out what is happening in between each number in the sequence. So for example, in this problem, you have that each number goes down by four every time. For every iteration, it goes down by four. So if we expand this a little bit, so negative six, negative 10, negative 14, negative 18, negative 22, and then negative 26. So we have our series there. We have our sequence. So now I'm going to show you how I solve this problem. So first I found the relationship. So you can see that every one of these is subtracted by four. And then I said that, okay, but f of one, this is the first iteration that I'm given. So I'm going to say f of one is equal to negative six. f of two is equal to negative 10. f of three, negative 14. And I just went down the list. So that's the first thing that I did. I found the relationship. And then you find the relationship between the relate the relationship between what changed. So in between each number, it changed by negative four. That means that there's no exponentials in this function, and we can just use a linear relationship. So a linear relationship has the form of f of x is equal to ax plus b. And so if we go ahead and plug f of one in, so we go ahead and put one in as x, then we can say that that's equal to negative six. So if you pull that negative six over here and you say that that's equal to a plus b, a, a of one plus b, a times one plus b, then you can say that negative six is equal to a plus b. And then once you've done that, you can do that with, with five as well. And you get a second equation that negative 22 is equal to five a plus b. And then what you can do is you can actually add these two functions just like this. And you see, I actually distributed this negative into the function. So I reversed the signs of everything inside. So that way, whenever I added this 22 to this negative six, I got 16. And whenever I added this side, this function here to this or to this term, to this term, I got a plus b minus 5a minus b, but then the b's canceled out. So I was left with a minus 5a is equal to 16. 16 is equal to negative 4a. And so whenever you solve for that, you get that negative 4 is equal to a. Now we sub a to find b. So negative 22, and then we just put negative 4 here for a plus b. And this is coming from our previous equation up here. This is coming from our ax plus b relationship. Now we know that at negative 22 from this equation, that that's it, 5. So negative 22 is equal to 5 times negative 4 plus b, and you solve for b. You get negative 2, and then we get our function. f of x is equal to negative 4a minus 2. But it's very important because in this, you can usually find a way to do it without being right for all values. So you want to try it with a couple of the values on the list and see if it works. So let's go ahead and do that. So f of x is equal to negative 4a minus 2, we get, we get 26. That works out. f of 1 is equal to negative 6. That works out. f of 2 is equal to negative 10. That works out. And so we can be pretty sure that we have the right relationship. And that's how you would do it.